The Caribbean is shaking, and the world isn't paying attention. Beneath the turquoise water, behind the beaches and palm trees, something ancient is waking up. Ten volcanoes, some sleeping for centuries, are rumbling again. Small earthquakes, new gas vents, even the smell of sulfur drifting through quiet villages. From St. Vincent to Dominica, from Montserrat to Grenada, people are starting to ask, is the Caribbean about to explode? And here's the crazy part. Scientists are now discovering hidden volcanoes under the sea, places no one even knew existed. What we uncover today could literally change the shape of these islands forever. So grab your seat, take a deep breath, and let's dive into the heart of the Caribbean Ring of Fire. Number 10, La Soufriere, St. Vincent. Locals still remember the last eruption, April 2021, when the sky turned black and ash covered everything. More than 20,000 people were forced to flee their homes overnight. Today, La Soufriere is rumbling again. Scientists say deep magma chambers are refilling, gas is increasing, and new cracks are forming near the summit. People in nearby villages describe hearing low thunder-like sounds at night. Not storms, but the volcano breathing. For St. Vincent, that memory is still fresh. Families rebuilt their homes, farmers replanted their crops, yet everyone knows it could happen again. One local woman said, We live with the mountain. We watch her moods every day. La Soufriere isn't just a volcano, it's part of life here. But right now, it's wide awake. Number 9. Soufriere Hills, Montserrat If there's one island that knows what destruction feels like, it's Montserrat. In 1995, Soufriere Hills erupted so violently that it buried the capital city, Plymouth, in ash. Half the island became a restricted zone, a ghost land frozen in time. Three decades later, new activity is being recorded again. Rising dome temperatures, mini quakes, fresh fumaroles. For the few thousand residents who returned, every tremor brings back memories of running for boats, carrying children, watching the sky glow orange. But here's the emotional truth. People still call Montserrat the Emerald Isle of the Caribbean. It's a symbol of survival. As one fisherman put it, the volcano took half our island, but it couldn't take our spirit. Number 8. Morn Diablatins, Dominica Dominica looks like paradise. Waterfalls, rainforests, and rivers everywhere. But beneath that green beauty sits a sleeping monster, Morne Diablatins, the highest volcano in the Eastern Caribbean. For years, people thought it was extinct. Now, scientists are saying otherwise. Swarms of tiny earthquakes are being detected deep below, and hot springs are getting hotter. In plain words, it's stirring. Dominicans feel proud but nervous. The island markets run as usual. Kids play soccer on the pool beaches. But everyone has learned to respect nature here. They've seen what happened to their neighbors, and they know it could happen to them too. Number 7. Mount Pelé, Martinique History remembers this one because it changed the Caribbean forever. In 1902, Mount Pelé erupted with unimaginable force, wiping out the entire city of Saint-Pierre in just minutes. The explosion was so powerful, it sent a cloud of gas hotter than a thousand degrees racing down the mountain at more than 100 miles an hour. 29,000 people gone, only two survived. One of them, a man named Ludger Silberis, was locked inside a tiny jail cell that shielded him from the inferno. For over a century after that tragedy, Pelé went silent, the island rebuilt, life went on, and generations grew up thinking the volcano had finally fallen asleep. But recently, the silence broke. In 2020, scientists noticed strange tremors beneath the mountain. Gases began leaking through cracks that hadn't moved in decades. The government raised the alert level, and people in nearby towns started keeping bags packed, just in case. It's quiet, one woman said, but sometimes the mountain whispers, the dogs bark, and we feel a small shake, like it's breathing again. Today, Mount Pelé looks peaceful from a distance, covered in mist, calm, beautiful, but deep beneath the surface, magma is stirring. And when the Caribbean's most legendary volcano wakes up, the whole world takes notice. Number 6. Kick'em Jenny, Grenada, Underwater, Volcano Now this one is different, and far more mysterious. Just 8 kilometers north of Grenada, hidden under the sea, lies Kick'em Jenny, the most active submarine volcano in the entire Atlantic Ocean. 
Its name alone tells a story. Old sailors called it Kick'em Jenny because passing ships would suddenly lurch or lose balance when the volcano released gas underwater. The last known eruption was in 2015, but what scientists have discovered since then is shocking. Sonar scans show new vents opening and heat levels rising year after year. Ships are forbidden from passing directly over it because the gases it releases can make the water so light that even steel ships can suddenly sink straight down. Imagine a volcano that could erupt without anyone seeing it. No fire, no smoke, just a violent churning of the sea. Some experts believe Kick'em Jenny could one day create a new island, just like how volcanic eruptions formed much of the Caribbean long ago. But others warn that if it blows too close to the surface, it could trigger tsunamis that hit Grenada, Barbados, and even Trinidad. Hidden volcanoes like Kick'em Jenny remind us that the Caribbean is alive, not just above the waves, but deep below them. Number 5. La Soufrière Guadeloupe Locals call it La Vieille Dame, meaning the old lady. But don't let that name fool you, this volcano is anything but gentle. La Soufrière in Guadeloupe last erupted in 1976. It wasn't a massive explosion, but it was powerful enough to force over 70,000 people to leave their homes. Since then, scientists have kept a close eye on it, and what they're seeing now is worrying. New fumaroles, stronger sulfur gas, and many earthquakes shaking the southern part of the island. Guadalupans live with a mix of pride and fear. The volcano is part of their identity, part of their landscape, but it's also unpredictable. Tourists hike to the summit for its incredible views, but locals know better. She's beautiful, one man said, but she has a temper. Today, thermal cameras show that the crater is heating up again, hinting that magma may be on the move beneath the surface. Guadalupe officials have already updated their evacuation plans, because when the old lady wakes up, she doesn't give much warning. Number 4. Mornay Trois Piton, Dominica. If there's any island that feels like it was built by volcanoes, it's Dominica. This tiny island has nine active volcanic centers, and at the heart of it all is Mornay Trois Pitons National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site filled with steaming vents, boiling lakes, and sulfur springs. Tourists come here to see the Boiling Lake, one of the largest in the world, but few realize that it's heated by the same volcanic system that could erupt again. Over the past few years, scientists have recorded hundreds of small quakes under Dominica, the kind that often mean magma is moving deeper underground. What's even more mysterious? Some areas of the park have started showing new sulfur vents that weren't there a decade ago. Local guides talk about feeling the ground throb under their feet, and elders tell stories of how the island breathes. When the rivers run hotter, they say the mountain is alive. Dominica's people have learned to live in harmony with that danger. They call it the Nature Island, and maybe that's exactly what it is. Nature, pure and untamed. But if more Nature were to erupt, it could impact the entire island. That's why scientists say Dominica isn't just volcanic land, it's a living volcano itself. Number 3. Mount Scenery, Saba, Netherlands Caribbean On the tiny island of Saba in the Dutch Caribbean stands Mount Scenery, the highest point in the entire kingdom of the Netherlands. From the air, it looks peaceful a lush green cone, often wrapped in clouds. But beneath those trees lies a dormant volcano that scientists now say might not be dormant anymore. Studies in recent years show small seismic tremors and gas releases near the summit, tiny signals that the volcano could be waking up after thousands of years of sleep. For the people of Saba, that idea is both terrifying and humbling. Their whole island is the volcano. Imagine living on top of something that powerful, knowing it could change everything overnight. Yet Sabin speak with calm pride. If she goes, one elder said, we'll go with her. It's our home. That's the Caribbean spirit, fearless, faithful, and ready for whatever comes next. Number 2. The Quill, St. Eustatius Just a short flight from Saba lies another sleeping volcano, the Quill on St. Eustatius. From the outside, it looks like a perfect green mountain, but inside its crater is a jungle, literally a forest growing inside a volcano. For centuries, 
Locals thought the quill was extinct, but scientists have recently found evidence of fresh magma deep underground, along with minor seismic rumblings. Researchers now classify it as potentially active. The quill's eruption history is unclear. Some say its last eruption happened over 1,500 years ago, but nature has a way of surprising us. If it were to erupt again, it could send ash across multiple nearby islands, affecting air travel and daily life across the northeastern Caribbean. Still, the people of St. Eustatius live with quiet confidence. The quill gives us life, one farmer said, and if she ever wakes up, we'll still stand strong. Number 1. The Hidden Volcanoes Beneath the Caribbean Sea And now, the most mysterious volcanoes of all, the ones we can't even see. Beneath the Caribbean Sea, between the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico, lies a chain of undiscovered submarine volcanoes, hidden giants quietly shaping the ocean floor. In 2024, researchers using deep-sea mapping technology found strange circular ridges heat plumes and gas vents that suggest active volcanic systems below. No names, no warning, just raw, untamed earth building new land beneath the waves. Some experts believe one of these hidden volcanoes could be responsible for unusual seismic activity around the Lesser Antilles. Others think these could be the early stages of a new island forming, another birth in the ever-changing Caribbean chain. Whatever they are, one thing's certain. The Caribbean isn't just paradise. It's alive, breathing, and evolving every single day. So as we look across the Caribbean tonight, at the calm seas, the shining lights of small island towns, and the peaceful sound of waves, remember this. Underneath, there's movement, pressure, life, these volcanoes, both known and hidden, remind us how fragile and how powerful this region truly is. The same forces that once destroyed entire cities also built these islands, gave them fertile soil, and made them what they are today, home. From St. Vincent to Martinique, from Dominica to Grenada, the Caribbean stands proud, not in fear of the fire below, but in respect of it. Because here, Every sunrise over the sea is proof that even after destruction, life always finds a way to rise again.